We're going to pull today's video from the Digital Nomad Diaries. We're going to talk about how to use Google Hangout because a lot of us are familiar with Skype. We've uh, started dabbling in FaceTime. Uh, we've got some secondary apps that maybe we use, but I want to talk about something that's free, something that doesn't use a ton of bandwidth, something that's easy to use, something that you can log into from anywhere in the world using pretty much anyone's uh, computer, and you can get on and you can have a um, have a teleconference or have a video conference or uh, share your screen, whatever it is you want to do. So today, we're going to talk about Google Hangout, how you use it. Logging into Google Hangout is the same as logging into Google. You're going to go to the same place on the web that you would to view your webmail of Gmail. They'll be prompted for your password. You'll enter your password, click sign in, and be taken to what's known as your G Plus page. Now your G Plus page will have some tools on the left. That's where you're going to choose Hangouts. Once you've directed your cursor to Hangouts, you click on it and you're taken directly to the Google Hangouts tool. Now once there, you'll see a couple of different places where you can start a new Hangout. Probably the easiest way to do it though is to select the green button in the lower right hand corner. Once you've started a video Hangout, you'll see a new screen which is going to show you a foreground and a background. In the foreground you're presented with a link. Now this link goes directly with this particular chat. So with this link you have about two options. The first is you can copy and then paste it into an email and then send the email to someone to let them know to join you in that Google Hangout. Or you can use Google's built-in tools to perhaps select a group that you've already created uh, through your Gmail or through your Google+. Plus. Now, say you've created a tiny house group or friends or something of that nature. You would simply select friends and it'll send it directly. It'll send the Google invitation directly to 79 people, which is how many are in your friends. Now once you've done all this, you're going to go back to the Google Hangout, it's just back a screen, and you're going to await for the person to arrive. Once they've arrived, you'll see their picture on the screen, and you'll know that you're engaged in a Google Hangout. Now for the purpose of privacy, I'm not using the video application for this, I'm just going to show the empty screenshot, which is just the G Plus profile picture. But once you're in the video hangout, you also have a couple of features, and those are shown in tools on the left-hand side. The first one is like a blue bubble, which gives you the option to use a chat feature on the right-hand side of the screen. There's an example. The other is probably the most important for the digital nomad, and that's the ability to screen share. So that tool on the left-hand side that looks like a computer screen with an arrow pointing right, that's screen share. Once you click on it, you're given the options of your open windows currently on your computer that you can share. When you select share, you'll see a green bar come from the top that says you are screen sharing. So in this particular case, I'm sharing with my friend a PowerPoint that I've kind of put together for a presentation. And so we can talk about it and, and work out some points and that sort of thing. And because it's open, it's totally editable, just as if I was only in PowerPoint. When I'm done with the screen share, I simply press stop and the screen share is disengaged. When I'm done with the Google Hangout, I just find the leave call button on the far right of the top hand of the screen and I click it. The call is over. Now, one of the coolest things about Google Hangout is that there, on the right hand side of the screen, even though I've disengaged, I've left the call, I have an archive of the chat that went on during the course of the Google Hangout. So if we were to have given each other notes back and forth on that uh, PowerPoint, I would see those in that archive. I can select archive once I've gone to settings and I can let it stay there. Otherwise, I can simply leave all together, have no record of the archive, no record of the chat, and be disengaged with the Google Hangout. And so that's a rundown of how to use Google Hangout for the digital nomad. Thanks for tuning in to another Tiny Revolution video. If you like what you saw, be sure to click the thumbs up, and please do make sure you subscribe to our channel for weekly updates with the Tiny Revolution. Mm -hmm.